Okay, in this series, we are going to go over systems of equations. Uh, now, before we actually dive in and start solving some systems, I do want to talk about what they are. Uh, before even doing that, we need to understand what a basic linear equation is. Now, a basic linear equation, an example would be, well, they're lines, by the way, the linear means line. An example of one would be y equals do y equals like negative 1x plus 4. Okay, so that's a basic linear equation, and let's talk about some solutions to this. A solution are a pair of x and y, so a solution, they're going to be a pair, an x and y, that's, there we go, a pair of x and y that satisfy, and when I say satisfy, I mean when you plug it into the equation, it works, uh, satisfy the equation. Okay, so let's just, let's see if we can figure out some solutions right now. Just some basic ones, you could do a couple. Uh, how about zero, four? So for example, when x equals zero, what happens when you plug in x equals zero here? You'll just get zero, plus 4 is 4, so y equals 4, so that works. Um, how about, well, 4 comma 0 will work when x equals 4. Okay, and you can pause and just verify these on your own. Um, another one could be, let's do 1 comma 3, that works. Another one could be negative 1 comma 5. Okay, these are all solutions. Yeah. And again, pause it and verify. Now, what is a solution to an equation? Well, we also know how to graph this. Okay, this is a line. So let's see what happens when we graph it. Okay, so I've graphed a line. So this line is y equals negative x plus 4. But let's take a look at all these solutions that I found up uh, trying to solve for this equation up here. So 0, 4. So that puts me right here at 0, 4. How about 4, 0? Well, that's right here. How about 1, comma 3? It's about right there. Are you seeing a pattern? Okay, how about negative 1, 5? Well, negative 1, that's right there. So negative 1, 5 puts me about right there. In fact, any solution to this equation ends up being a point on the line. All right, and that's the, that's the relationship that I wanted to, um, well, explain using all this stuff here, is that a solution to a linear equation is, and these are the same thing, so solution, solution to, all right, Solution two and two. <laughs> well, grammar's not really good, is it? Oops. All right, why don't I just erase all this? Okay, solution. Solution to a linear. There we go. A linear equation is a point on the line. So there's two ways of finding solutions to linear equations. You can try finding points x and y that work or you can graph the line and then pick points off the line. Both of them are going to be solutions to that equation. So now what's a system of equations? Let's come back up here. What we're going to do is we're going to add another equation. So we have y equals negative 1x plus 4 now what we're going to do is add another one. Uh, how about 2x plus 1? So here's our second equation. And a system of equations, okay, so down here a solution to a system of equations would be a pair x and y that satisfy not just one equation, satisfy both equations now. So that's that's the difference between solving one linear equation and now solving a pair. A pair of 
linear equations is considered a system and a solution to the system would be any pair that works for both equations. So now let's see what happens when we graph this line uh, back on the graph down here. Okay, so I had to, I moved these points a little bit out of the way so we can make room for this line. Now this line right here, that's my line y equals 2x plus 1. And if you kind of come back up here, if we if we wanted to figure out a, let's figure out a couple solutions to this. So a couple solutions to that line right there uh, would be like 0, 1. That's considered a solution, right? If you plug that in, I'll let you verify, you pause the video to check. Uh, how about, well, we can do 1 comma 3. That's going to be a solution. How about negative 1, 1? That's also a solution. So these are all solutions to that second line. And let's see what happens when we graph those. So we got 0, 1, 1, 3, negative 1, negative 1. That puts me down here. All right, and when you connected these, these dots, I already drew the line in, but now that I've, I've drawn the dots, I can connect the, line, or connect the dots with a line, and I would form this white line that I've already, I've already drawn in. But you know what? You can see that we overlap here. All right, so what did I say up here? I said a solution to a system is a pair of an x and a y that satisfy now both equations. So let's take a look. We have 1, 3 and 1, 3. Both of those are solutions to these equations. And guess what? They're also a point on the line. Okay. And that's what a system, a solution to a system of equations is going to be. It's a, it's a point that works for both lines, but it's also a point that's on both lines. So a solution is an intersection. All right, all of this stuff will help you understand, or will help you later when we do solving systems by the graphing method and, and, uh, and the addition and substitution method. So then the last thing I want to talk about with uh, regards to systems of equations are the types of solutions we have. All right, because there are going to be three types of solutions. We've already seen one of them. All right, here's an example of a type of solution, and it's one solution. It's where you have two lines, and they have an intersection. Okay, so that's one type. All right, my next type or when you have two lines and these lines are parallel. Notice that the two lines that are parallel are two lines that do not cross and so they do not have an intersection, so no intersection. And if they do not intersect, it means they have no point in common. And if they have no point in common, then they can't have a solution. All right, so, so far we have one solution, no solution, and then my third, Okay, so let's move over. Here is our third type. It's, it might be hard to see, so I'm going to zoom in uh, much closer than I did with the previous two. And you can notice that there are actually two lines here. Okay, one is dotted. All right, so I have a red dotted, and then I have, no, I'm sorry, we have a red solid, and then a white dotted. In fact, what happens is, uh, in this example, you have two lines. They are the same line, okay, because all of these have two lines. A same line, and what that means is every single point, so every point on the line is a solution. Because if it's on one line, it's on the other because they are the same line. And the way we would say this is we would say infinitely, oops, infinitely many solutions. All right, so hopefully this is a good intro to systems of equations, and then in, in the preceding videos, we will uh, go over the methods on how to solve systems of equations. Okay, so see you there.